Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the differences between a traditional 401k and a Roth 401k. In today's video, I'm gonna break it down into three different categories. The first being the definitions of a traditional 401k, the definition of a Roth 401k. Next, I wanna talk about what your employer can actually match if you have an employer match 401k plan. And finally, I wanna talk about what is considered a qualified withdrawal from your 401k account and what is considered an unqualified withdrawal and what penalties are associated with those. A traditional 401k account works by allowing you to take a certain portion of your income and put it directly into a retirement fund without it being taxed. This is beneficial because it allows you to take a larger portion of your income and put it in that retirement fund. If you do this early on in your career, this can really help you improve your earnings or growth in the retirement fund you're putting that money into. The only problem with a traditional 401k account is that whenever you go to take that money out of the retirement fund, you have to pay money not only on the principal that you put in, you have to also pay taxes on all of the gains or growth that that fund experienced over the years that you worked. A Roth, on the other hand, is a little bit different. A Roth allows you to take a certain portion of your income and put it in a retirement fund. However, you're taxed on it immediately whenever you put it into the retirement fund. The benefit with the Roth, though, is that whatever gains or earnings that fund experienced over the years that you were working, whenever you go to pull it out in retirement, you don't have to worry about paying any type of tax on the earnings or growth of the fund whenever you take out the money for retirement. This can be big. With Whenever you work 25 to 30 years, the growth on the fund can actually outweigh that of the principal put into the fund. So this can be a huge tax incentive if you're looking to invest in a Roth. The second topic I'm wanting to talk about is if you have a company match 401k plan. This means that your company will match a certain amount of money you put into your 401k account. So if you do have a company match 401k, something that many people don't realize is companies cannot put any type of money or contributions towards your Roth 401k. They have to put the contributions towards a traditional 401k or some type of pre-taxed fund. Only you as the individual can put money into a Roth 401k. And you're actually limited per year to $19,000 that you can put into your Roth 401k if you're under the age of 50. If you're over the age of 50, you can actually put up to $25,000 per year. And this is as of 2019. So the last topic I'm wanting to talk about today, guys, is what is considered a qualified withdrawal from your 401k accounts. So for both a traditional 401k and a Roth 401k, in order to make a qualified withdrawal, you must be at least 59 and a half years of age or older and have been in the account for at least five years. There are certain special situations where you can withdraw early from the 401k accounts and those typically involve life-changing events that make it difficult for you to work. If you still need to make a withdrawal from your 401k account before you've met those criteria, you'll have to do something called an unqualified withdrawal. So with unqualified withdrawals, you have to pay a 10% fee for an early withdrawal fee, and you will also have to pay taxes on the amount of money you withdraw from the account. However, with a Roth and a traditional, the amount of money that you actually have to pay in taxes will be different. So let me explain that. A traditional 401k, you haven't paid any taxes on at this point, whenever you're trying to make the withdrawal. So whatever money you withdraw from the account, you're gonna have to pay taxes on the full amount that you withdraw. However, this is different with the Roth because you've already paid a certain amount of taxes on the money in the account with the Roth 401k. So you will only have to pay taxes on the earnings of that account. So this is another difference between the traditional 401k and the Roth 401k. Those are really the big differences that I have between the traditional 401k and the Roth 401k guys. They are both very useful tools for your retirement, and if you start them early, you will be very, very happy in the future that you did so. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.